Wow, what an amazing result. This result is shattering my old record of 750,000 silver lines in the German Premium Wellington by over 200,000 silver lines. Wow. And this was the result of a single battle. But this was the result of a battle that I sadly didn't record and I screwed up here the uh, replay and it was on a different PC um, and I will come to this only back in a few days. So I will not show you this result but I show you a battle later on that has a um, very similar impressive result. And don't be shied away here by eight destroyed air targets because that's also something that I want to talk you through. Yes, I'm playing with the premium account and the German P47, but that's not all. So without further ado, let's go through. So hello there and welcome back to War Thunder. Today, as you saw in the introduction, I'm talking about gaining massive, and I mean massive amounts of civil lines. And um, the introduction, the talking, the theory lesson will last for 10, 15 minutes. I'm sorry about this, but please stay with me. Spend a few minutes listening to me. Maybe you will learn one or two new tricks. I, for myself, I thought I would know everything in the game and um, I had made so many mistakes. And so I want to bring up to my standard now of knowledge in terms of civil line gain. So in the last few days or in the last days I talked about how much the new patch will cost me 30 30 million silver lines I had to spend on the death server on vehicles that have been already purchased by Gaijin for me or rather unlocked and I has had to still get them into a crew and get them the expert qualification and uh, 30 million silver lines is not nothing it's taking a while and even though I have now 122 million silver lines that's still a lot if you think about the upcoming patches where we will see even more high tier stuff where we see even more helicopters throughout all the nations that are very expensive and also at some point the um, ships going into the open beta you can imagine how long it will take to get the required silver lines and also if you think about repair costs and cost of ammunition and all those things uh, for tanks in tank rb in particular uh, you need huge amount of silver lines now you think oh, it's so easy chairman p47 the premium one premium account big silver line booster that's it yeah you are on the right way but this gives you big money it gives you not excessive huge amount of silver lines and this is what i want to talk you through and it's not just about spending golden eagles and throwing it at the game i'm talking here about playing for it so first of all before i continue to say anything more a big shout out to oryx for the thumbnail the link uh, to his youtube channel is in the video description down below check out his channel and uh, contact him if you are also a youtuber and um, he makes good thumbnails he's a very nice guy and uh, the only thing that he wants is a little bit of a shout out please do it um i think it's a fair trade because my thumbnails look terrible a really terrible edit um, it will not get better anytime soon so i'm glad that i have this guy and that's it for that so back to the plane let's talk about some maths here i know i know i know but stay with me because this actually is the key to unlocking um, over half a million civil lines reliable in one single battle the reward that you see on the stat card at the bottom is 960% civil lines for the P47D with a 50% civil line booster. It's made like 2.4 for the normal modifier of the plane times 2.0 because it's a premium plane then times and um, then 100% which is the basis for every plane plus 50% of, for a premium account and then plus 50% of a civil line booster. So already you see that's a lot of multipliers and uh, additions to a single multiplier. At the end, the booster is the problem because it's just an addition, not a multiplier. So if you have a 500% silver line booster, it's not actually times five, sadly, but it's plus 500% on this one um, 
multiplier. So 100% plus 50% plus 500%. And you don't have that many huge boosters, right? What we need is another multiplier. And that's the secret to getting absurd amounts of silver lines in um, just a few battles. And how to obtain boosters and wages and orders, I will talk you through to gain and have a steady increased income of civil line battles throughout weeks, months, and hopefully years. And this is the actual message. It's not just that one lucky battle. It's getting lots and lots of civil line battles on a reliable basis with an average game. And if you do it right, you can further increase it. If you're a good pilot, if you have some friends on VoiceCom in a squad watching each other's back and timing stuff and timing and knowing the maths and knowing the basis is really the foundation. So I for myself could have done much better over the course of the last two, three days where I just quote unquote got just 10 million civil lines very often I didn't activate a booster or I forget to activate the booster. I didn't get to come around to kill anybody. I actually um, lost surprising amounts of battle because I'm an idiot and I was a bit too greedy. And if you can do better than me, then you can earn even more civil lines than I do. And um, I think let's talk about through all the things. So um, first of all, how to get so many boosters, especially the ones without an expiring date, um, even up to 900%. Well, the first thing is here, the, um, <laughs> yeah, um, the daily tasks for the war bonds. And there you can see I was lucky. I had a 75% uh, 75 war bonds for the first battle and 100 for the second stage. And very often I passed, uh, um, I just, you know, skipped them or were not interested in fulfilling them recently but in the past i was actually going actively after them so on average per day 150 war bonds are possible to get there are various different stages and if you go to the war bond shop you can actually get here 75 and 150 percent booster for only 10 war bonds even 300 and 500 percent boosters are possible i pos i personally don't go for those uh tanks and planes anymore they cost too much and um yeah they just are already bought by me furthermore I think that the, the real secret is here, this package where you get the boosters from 50 to 800% for silver lines and um, also RP uh, with a lottery basically. And the next month in 19 days, it goes to 60 to 900%. And this is what really is then um, really interesting. Um, so yeah, for 400 war bonds, that's nearly three days of playing for just one booster, but it has no expiring date. If you are free to play title, if you are a free to play player, then you uh, can save them up. They have no expiring date, and if you just go for a golden eagle battle wagers, if you do a lot of daily login, you also get silver line boosters and uh, RP boosters. The um, actual rewards will get bigger and bigger up until then they. Uh, have a new begin of a cycle and there you get a lot of uh, wages boosters and so stuff i know it's all known but a lot of people just don't care you don't have to play on the very same day that you log in to use the booster you have three day you have three days to actually play the to activate the booster and then uh, you have 24 hours to use the booster to the full extent so that's again very interesting to know so Playing for war bonds and daily logging in, you don't have to pay for it. And the next thing is, let's talk about the multipliers. Orders. There are seven different of them and I will briefly talk about each and single one of them, how useful they are and how I use them and that I actually didn't care about them in the past, that, that I have misunderstand them. Yes, I know, I feel like an idiot myself, but um, you can actually learn something from this so that you are not such an arrogant bastard like I am. There are three um, orders like the check of all trades, the domination and be the best which give you 15,000 um, so, uh, silver lines extra in realistic battles. Um, it takes five minutes and you have to fulfill the conditions and you get them extra. That is nice but not what we're actually after. That's again an addition not a multiplier. Then we have the Avenger 
and the blind hunt and they are very good for spotting the last enemy running that tries to stay on the airfield that just hides somewhere on the map that um, in air rb that is you can spot him if he's far away if he is just not uh, red boxed if he is in clouds if he wants to sneak around on low altitude to crack the last few ground units or the base something like this so you find him sooner and i still will use them for them because the award of 5000 silver lines is neglectable for my purpose in the past i came across already the anti mech and this is very interesting now again a time frame of five minutes after you activate it in the battle and then it's multiplying times three the amount of silver lines that you get per kill per unit within those five minutes so if you crack a light pillbox a tank uh, even an sp triple uh, a or artillery or howitzer something along like this it multiplies it by times three very often i try to do it also with torpedoes with some planes with ships that also is a good chunk amount of silver lines but again not what i'm really after right so i want this one and i have misused it for a long time because of the name i thought it would be just only for spa because i didn't really look at it properly it specifically says target type air so any aircraft that you shoot down probably in the future also helicopters again a time frame of five minutes with a multiplier of times three this is very important okay and um you can also shoot down the bot planes on certain maps like berlin or some of the russian maps where those um bot planes swarm in again p47 with 50 cals lots of ammunition is very good for doing this and um then furthermore we have the wagers you can see I um, gained a lot of them, I really didn't use of them. And the one that I really want to point out is the Battle Victory Wager that gives you a quarter of a million of civil lines after 10 battles. And again, you need to win a lot of them. Again, squad gameplay is really working towards you. And as well as the German P47, you're working with German teams that are well disciplined, that win more battles than on average. And this is just amazing. And so, um, the maximum stake is 10,000. I highly recommend to put this one into it because it's very unlikely that you lose here any sort of civil lines. And even in the worst scenario, you get 50, 100,000 civil lines on top of it. And so there are lots of stuff in your inventory that you might not uh, had a proper look at it. Take those few minutes, read through them, okay? Just talk to your friends make a plan how to stack the stuff on top of each other uh, to play which nation at which day of time uh, in rrb uh, which one is the one that then activates the order and gets all the kills and and all the bonus next battle it could be somebody else you also could go here for um some other things like um, the best squad wager which goes up to um half a million so that's amazing and um, i think this is really worth having a good look at so without further ado let's now hop into a battle and let's talk through all the other aspects of it and i wanted to show you the worst possible conditions we are on the battle for rhine map we are in a full up tier and it's just the worst conditions that you can imagine so there are no ground units to then full, uh, fully use even the civil line booster i will screw up a little bit with the orders but at the end of the day i will still make an absurd amount of civil lines and this is the message of this game of this video that it is just the average battle under bad conditions you probably can do much better than this with more kills with um yeah winning even more battles winning more wagers uh, um, battle victory wagers all those stuff you can do better but this is what you can realistically expect and this is something that i always want to show what you can realistically do and if it's not really realistic then i want to point this out so in this battle i have activated a 500 percent civil line booster i will not fulfill any sort of um battle victory wager just one stage of it but that doesn't give me any sort of silver lines and yet the result will be kind of mind shaking for a lot of people out there that just never um, bother to have a look at those orders a times three multiplier 
in conjunction with a premium account, premium plane, and also a decently sized silver line boosters can easily rack up 300, 400,000 silver lines. If you do this multiple times per day and you have then some of the outstanding battles, that is just adding up and you gain massive amounts of silver lines that you then can spend on tanks, ammunition, repair costs, paying for other planes and so forth. And don't forget, you also train with this plane, your crew, potentially a tank crew, and um, you just can uh, con or just put the gained um, crew experience into the, your tank crew or the tank set of the aspect of that crew. So again, we have a cloud cover, it's a full up tier, it's a map where there are no ground units um, to tip the balance of the game. It's very difficult for the Germans to win by ground units. The Allied side have a much better condition here and um, yeah, the plan is here to observe at first, to read the battle, battle messages, to look at the radar or the minimap, where are the enemies, where are your ground units disappearing, uh, play the spot the dot game. F at first, in the beginning of the match, just try to observe, let the game develop and then go in and support your teammates. But don't do it too late, don't be too passive, but at the other hand, don't be greedy. I know this requires a lot of uh, a lot of experience, and again, um, playing in a squad here with various different types of aircraft, um, a boom and zoomer, a turn fighter, uh, maybe even something that has some um, ground pounding potential. You can win even more battles than this if you play together um, very nicely. You can see the German team is climbing, the German team is mostly sticking together um, and they are always in punching range of supporting each other to pick off the plane that is on the tail of a German plane. <sighs> yeah. Uh, and then let's talk about the 50 cals of the P-47, why they are so unique amongst the German planes. Um, they have a high muscle velocity, you have lots of them, you have them wing mounted, you have um, the possibility of staying long in the battle and still shooting down a lot of planes. With those 50 cals you potentially can and will uh, take down ground units that are not that easy to destroy for normal German fighters. So you can play in the fighter role and kill ground units, like light tanks, light pillboxes if you aim for the roof um, um, below 500 meters. I use here the ground unit belt for not just the air targets but also in particular for air targets. Don't ask me why, it's the most efficient one, the one with the least sparks. and. Um, I think as well if you go on a map where there are, for example, uh, AI planes, like on several of the maps where you encounter Russians, where there are the bot AIs coming in, like on the Berlin map um, and some other maps like these, uh, first concentrate on players, okay? That's very important. Concentrate on getting on players. And then when you're about to kill somebody, or if you're in a boom and zoom run and you just have like 10 seconds left before you engage him and he doesn't see you, then go into the menu and activate the order. And then you have five minutes to kill one, two, three, maybe even more players. And then if you are no longer in the, in the position to engage enemy fighters because you have dropped altitude, then engage the bot planes and shoot down some of them, like five or six, and you get just an absurd amount of silver lines, which I sadly didn't have the luck to get in this battle. Again, daily logins, um, collecting the war bonds and exchanging them for uh, the boosters, which don't have expiring date. I know this will take weeks and months, but it keeps you in the run for the long time. Never forget about the message. And here is actually where I screw up. I should have activated the order, but um, I thought I would never get into punching range of this B-17. Now it's too late to just tap into the menu and activate it. Now one final tip here, if I would have not killed him, but instead I set him on fire, I would have turned away and then activate the order and then when he would have burned down, I would have gotten um, the times three multiplier. It actually isn't visible immediately, 
the civil line result of nearly 50,000 civil lines was just from the 500% civil line booster, premium account, premium status of the plane, and so forth, but not from the um, incoming times three. So now I actually activate here the order, the AAA order. The typhoon doesn't see me. He's flying in a straight line. He's under attack. He tries to dodge. I set him on fire, and um, now I try to kill him. It's very important that you also at the end um, end up as the one having the most kills. There is a P-47 coming in. Can I make the turn? No, I cannot really make the turn. P-47 is of course a <laughs> dedicated boom and zoomer and energy fighter at best, but not really a turn fighter. So Spitfires, especially the Mark 9 in a full up tier are your arch nemesis. Now you can see I'm spraying here widely. I'm getting a bit greedy. I lose my cool here. I want to get the kill. I need to get the kill. You can see there are already two other guys that have uh, one kill each and um, I run into the risk of not getting the multiplier here. Um, and yeah, you can see here the high speed stiffening up. I hit him. No fire, no critical hit. Ah, God damn it, I just get the kill assist. But there is no another one. On the radar, there is no other contact. So I look around, there is no threat. The, the ally team has collapsed within minutes and so when you think about five minutes oh that's not a lot of time the actual combat duration doesn't last like 10-15 minutes the intense fight you can rack up easily three four kills uh, the most side that gets lost the most time that gets lost is side climbing bringing yourself into position the boom and zooming aspect the killing the turn fighting whatever that just takes a few minutes and then most players are dead and this is the time where you should before you get the next few kills where you should activate the booster so i got three kills overall at this point and just two of them were in the duration of the AAA order. I could have killed as well the B-17. So now there are no AI planes flying around. There are no um, kind of triple A positions, um, howitzers, artillery, and also no light pillboxes or light tanks that I could kill. I also have no bombs and there is nothing that I can do. So now I need to endure the race for the last enemy players. But the most important aspect is there. I survived so far and I got two kills in the AAA order. And two kills in conjunction with a 500% silver line booster. Now stop the video and type into the comment section what you actually expect just from this. Just let me know and then uh, answer your own comment later on after you see the result and your mind gets blown away. Because I wouldn't title the video like this, I wouldn't make a real fuss about this if it wouldn't be like this accessible for everybody, okay, or for the majority of people. And even if you don't have a premium account, even if you don't have the German P47 and you just have a few big boosters and just a few of those orders lying around, I think it's not that expensive to get the German P-47D, which is always a good training plane, which is kind of future-proof. It's still very, very good, um, um, even after the quadruple nerf, the effectiveness of the 50 cals has been removed, uh, has been reduced. Um, it has been the air spawn that has been removed. The battle rating has been increased. And overall, the plane's performance is also not that great anymore, especially with that battle rating. You very, very often see up tiers as well, and still you can get the kills. If you pay attention, if you have situational awareness, if you use your knowledge, if you don't panic, and if you don't get greedy, this is still the go-to plane for me personally to get those matches. And um, I think I've said now everything that there is to know. So how did I get that many civil lines in the past without knowing this? Um, well, first of all, I always was very good at bombing and I always bombed a lot in arcade in the first few years of my um, career where there were no tanks and I was really, really good deciding matches within five minutes or so where there was really this, this bomber problem and there I gained yeah, tens of millions of uh, silver lines 
um, within one or two days um, because it was so extreme. Those times are gone. This is now no longer possible. Um, rushing the bases and just bombing them into oblivion like this. And I think this is for the better, but I still had gained so many silver lines. And in the past, there you see the, the income, 266,000 silver lines additional to what I got already. That was the order. That was the order. And now the order is gone and there is the Typhoon. Let's see if we can get the kill on him. But I see on the radar, another P-47D is swooping on him through the cloud cover. Just in a few moments, I think I'm too far away to make anything about this. He doesn't see him coming. He has no chance. Poor Typhoon. And he is dead. Ouch. Well, just one enemy player left alive. The German team has performed brilliantly. I'm always very uh, interested in playing with the Germans. And now I'm interested in here in using the blind hunt order. And we can see that the Spitfire is indeed on the landing strip. Either he uh, had some damage, returned to base, or he tries to rearm to refuel. Um, very often, RRB is over before you can make this. At one point, yeah, this is sad. On the other hand, uh, you need to fulfill a lot of battles to get overall a good amount of civil line income if you don't use the little neat trick that I just showed you that I should have known much earlier. I always was like, yep, yeah, the German P-47 is an amazing plane. It's a good premium. Um, it works very well in conjunction with the rest of the German team. The high altitude performance, the speed, the top speed, the 50 cals, it just works very well. And now we see something rare that actually the BF-109 that rushed the enemy airfield to get the last enemy player actually got the enemy player before he got shot down by enemy um, AAA. So, three kills, one kill assist, just two of them were in the realms or the borders or the time frame of the uh, AAA order. Let's have a look at the results. Are you ready? There we go. So, <laughs> 620,000 silver lines. And make no mistake, this is pure profit. This is not like in Tank RB where you get the where you get also hundred uh, thousands of silver lines in a very good battle through using planes and tanks, but where you have to pay also repair costs and it's rather um, unreliable because you rely on the um, spawn point system and all those things. So this is something that a lot of people can do. The P-47 is a very good training plane and you just can combine so many things, squad gameplay, uh, battle victory wagers, boosters, and also the orders, and you just can do this on and on and on and on. So let me know in the comment section if this was helpful, but also furthermore, which little tricks and tips you have for um, us all to gain even more silver lines because the next patches will be very expensive that's it for me today thanks for watching thanks for listening please give this video a like share it with your friends and uh, all other persons that you know probably in your squad and so forth and yeah we'll see each other in the skies and on the battlefields and on the waves of war thunder